Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is Saturday, stream day. Amazing. All right. I want to get started with some stuff. So you guys may remember Flapjack that we've been kind of sculpting and building out here the last couple of weeks. Um, I used him for my posing demo last night in my class at Nomen. But there are some things compositionally that I think could be a little stronger. Uh, just for the sake of making sure that, like, as a piece, like, if I'm looking at him like this, I mean, silhouette-wise, his hand is getting lost back here. That pose is, like, really dynamic, and it's, you know, you can, you can feel, like, it feels a bit, you know, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's, like, so far as a pose go, that, that's that's pretty nice. But so far as a composition from the angle that I want to be able to look at him from, it doesn't work out the way that I want. So today we're going to see about working it out. <laughs> uh, before I get um, any further today, hi, anybody who's new here, I'm Steven Anderson. Um, I go by Smartest on Socials, um, and uh, I'm a Senior Character Supervisor on Overwatch, and I also teach at Nomen, and I have fun on Saturday mornings here with you guys, so there we go. Um, here we go, let's see, let's, let's jump into some stuff. I want to get my texture in here and say load spotlight and we got to get into the right folder I was like wait that's not the right folder here let's grab spotlight here so here is my design that I built out <laughs> thanks Cena <laughs> excellent work I enjoy viewing your videos very much thank you you're welcome Alexis <laughs> I assume you're talking about uh, uh, Nomen, but but yeah, I mean, it's kind of where we're at. So let's see, let's let's play around with this um, and see what we can get out of this. So I don't know a lot of a lot of what I will be doing with this uh, with this piece is looking for a composition. So like. Like literally, I'm just trying to push and pull things until they feel like they fit a little bit better. What it is that I'm trying to get out of it. Just kind of twist that just a slight bit so that when I'm looking at him from this side, I kind of wanted to have that extra little. It might be a little bit too much. I might try to like tune it back some. But yeah, the idea is to is to have a little bit of green kind of poking out that back there. that something like something like that the stems a little bit short to be able to show up like it is here in the sketch but you know it'll be okay greetings to turkey <laughs> all right so a couple a couple of the main things that I want to be able to work out today our first, I want to get this arm pose kind of fixed. The other thing I want to do, okay, I'm going to write these things down because this is this is kind of fun. That's an old stick it note, so I can get rid of that. Okay, so for flapjack, I want to work out the arm pose so that it's a little bit uh, more clear in the silhouette. Okay, because otherwise from this angle I can't really see what's going on with that arm and it makes it feel a little bit less uh, less controlled. Okay, so even for something like this, it feels hard to see. So. 
I'm trying to think about like more or less the the composition that I that I have here. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to work out a document to be able to see that. So arm pose so that it fits in silhouette. Um, the other thing that I need to do is get bacon worked out. The bacon hair. So that feels more like bacon. I also kind of want to play with the cream. The cream might be more of a top priority than the bacon. We'll have to see kind of how that goes. Um, because I, 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 I went through and I, I redid the uh, the cream to feel more like you know somebody took you know the the you know, a cool whip cream whatever I can't remember what it's called <laughs> we never get it um, to be able to kind of like put the nice swirl on top I feel like it's too big um, and so like and and I feel like I really, really like the shapes that are going in here. So I kind of want to see if I can figure something else out that'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer, a little bit more complementary to the design. Um, and then I also want to give him a vest. So those are, those are kind of my main things. Um, um, Let's see if we can get a couple things set up so that we can start testing things properly. Um, you notice that right now my, my document is, you know, it's landscape size. I don't want it to be landscape size. I want it to be nice and tall. Um, probably closer to this if it were slipped on its side. <laughs> But what I want to do is I'm going to come over here into my document. Let's 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 start off by by changing these uh, by changing these these values here. So I'm going to say for the width, I'm going to yeah, let's maybe leave it at twenty at, at sixteen. Oh shoot! I used the mouse instead of doing the other thing. For the height, let's try setting it to twenty one hundred. It's not an undoable. So it's kind of funny because like when you do that, it kind of stretches everything out. This is kind of fun. Let's go ahead and get a new one. And now I just want to come in here and start testing to get a good view. I also want to test to see about getting a good um, perspective, a good focal length for my camera. Because otherwise it'll be too extreme of a view and I want to make sure that I'm seeing this properly this little bit right here this is the center point so when I do my um, when I do my turntable it's going to be rotating around that point so I want to make sure that this is set properly hey sis Stretching them out, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna set them kind of like this for now. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So now, if I want to be able to bookmark this view, I gotta come up here to movie. I'll go timeline. I mean, there are a few ways to be able to do this. Uh, this is my favorite way. It's just it's just more flexible. Say so show. We'll hit that, so that way we're we're good and ready to go. We'll say document. Wait, what am I doing with document? I don't need to do anything with document. Movie timeline. We'll just say save, so that we can go ahead and we can. And we're just gonna put a two on the end here because they'll be they'll be different. Each one will be different there, so not a big deal. Um, one of the things that I might do is I might take this vial right here, this uh, this is syrup bomb, and I might make it bigger um, because, you know, <laughs> compositionally, I want it to feel like it's like coming at us and you know, flying through the air. This, it still feels really, really small. So 
Anyway, the very, very first thing that I want to do, though, is I want to make sure that I'm getting that arm pose in a position where it's readable. All right. So let's do that. Very, very first thing. Let's get that arm posable or posed in a nice position. Um, I don't need the floor on right now. Let's go ahead and let's hit this zoom back to actual so that way we can see everything the way it's meant to be. Um, let's go into our Z plugins. Let's go to transpose master and we'll hit T pose mesh. Oh, you know what? We're going to want mask lasso. grab some of these pieces here that I know for sure I'll want to have masked so that everything moves together and now everything should be good now let's let's go ahead let's grab this let's go back to our view something like that. It's, it's all about kind of trying to push and pull right now. So like the, the pose might not be as extreme as it was before, but that might be what we need. I do kind of want to try to get that elbow up though. So we're going to play with that some. might be a, a matter of getting that to extend out a little bit more because like I, I, I really want this to be you know to be more out over in here so I think that that's going to be the main focus and one of the things that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to ignore the frosting and I'm going to have to ignore the bun on his elbow in order to get this to, to work out nicely hey Leonard Hey, you Duke. <laughs> Duke Pablo. It's a pretty cool name. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. Then let's go ahead and say Control Shift S, get that down. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm just fumbling through trying to get this to be right. <laughs> that. Let's unmask that. Okay, with the uh, with the frosting, I do want mm, now with the frosting, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do the frosting separate. So we'll go ahead, we'll say all, we'll grab the buns, we'll say all And 
then let's start out over here. And then we'll come over here and we'll just kind of start stretching out that arm some. It's definitely getting more into the neighborhood of where I want it. Let's see. The frosting should be easy enough to, to fix, so I'm not I'm not terribly worried. But that's definitely more where I want it. Yeah, we'll commit that. We will commit that. Let's go ahead and freeze those buns and then we will bring these out <laughs> so that this is fitting in place. And then let's work on getting that frosting in place too. So we'll get that and then we'll grab that frosting it's kind of changed the orientation of our gizmo here a bit we'll get that repositioned so that this is fitting on the hand where it is now um, if we need to and we might, and it's not a huge deal. We can just come over here with the move brush and just kind of push and pull this now because we are we have it mostly in place. So now I just use the move brush to get it the rest of the way. With some of these pieces, like the, uh, what should we dig it? The, the one over the thumb, the little blob over the thumb. I'm going to use the... Uh, the gizmo to be able to, to place that one better but uh yeah I mean it's coming along it's pretty good it's pretty good let's go ahead and mask everything and then we can go ahead and we can take this place this on here in a nicer way. Okay, this bit right here, I want to get this so that this is aiming more over toward uh, where this bit of frosting is. Let's just kind of pull this over. I want to create more of a continuation kind of break that silhouette, that curve a little bit, have it come over here. Something like that. Okay. It's all about kind of pushing and pulling, figuring it out. Okay, so now if we look at our image and our composition from this angle, it definitely is starting to feel much better. Um, something else that I'm looking at and that I'm seeing <laughs> freeze those bonds. Yes, you did. You definitely did. <laughs> Um, one of the things that I want to look at is that I've got this, this head, it feels a little bit too nestled. It feels like it's almost too low or, you know, there, there's, there's something about it that doesn't feel quite right. So I'm going to see about trying to pull it away from the body a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see, let's grab a different loop. 
That should be it. Yep, yeah, that's it right there. Okay. Let's do that. No, I didn't want to do that. Just invert it. There we go. So right now I'm just going through and kind of inverting my mask on some of these pieces. Anything that has to do with the head, I think I got, oh, I got most everything. Let's make sure that we got that whole strawberry. Yep, we got the whole strawberry. <laughs> he looks nearly diabolical without the hat, though. That's insane. <laughs> you mask with the gizmo? I do. And that comes from, like, a, from like an old technique uh, where we had the transpose line. Um, it was just a, it's just a nice, handy way of being able to, to get something to mask along... Uh, along the topological surface. See, like this is looking much more clear. It's not. It's not perfectly like the concept, but it's got. Uh, I feel like it's definitely more dynamic than the than the concept, and I feel like it's working. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and let's take this over into here. Let's let's fix this little bit down here first. This feels I don't I didn't like that line right there. This is why we look at things from different angles. Get it together, Steven. Okay. Go ahead and put it into position. And then we can go ahead and we can say let's watch the magic. It's like there are a lot of like slight movements with a lot of things. And then there are some more subtle movements with uh, uh, like like bigger movements, I guess, with other things. Like things that have to do with the head and the head placement. That was fun. How about some waffle lines on the character's stomach? Nah. Um, it's a fun idea, but I don't think that that, like I think that that would create uh, unnecessary detail. So... It's one of those things that, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's always, it's always worth asking the questions, though, right? Let's go ahead and let's grab this. I'll hit save just to make sure we don't lose it, right? All right, let's see. Oh, and you know what? I need to hit save as because right now I'm working on 1G. I need to go to 2. So that way we're working on something that is unique and new. All right. For this vial, I'm going to say transpose set. And we're going to make it nice and big. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that's too big, right? It's too big in relation to the other things we're looking at it from the side it's 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 bigger you know whatever um in fact i it i might want it to be even a little bit bigger than that yeah let's see let's do this it's like it's just it's just about getting the composition that I need for the image. So now this thing right here it should be should be pretty cool. I want to do hmm. 
trying to look right now at this uh, at the pancake hat. And I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if if I want to change this shape at all, and most of what I would do is is like to try to get this so that it fits. my concept a little bit better maybe or differently it's like there are some things going on in here that are kind of fun and make it just like asymmetrical which could be cool okay so let's put that into place um it's definitely like creating a lot more vertical movement than I think I need, but I'm still trying to still trying to work this out, make sure that this feels right. Cause I think that even if it's different from how I originally had my concept, the the main thing that I need is for it to feel right. <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. <laughs> Thanks, ye. <laughs> hey, Ren. <laughs> so the guy's made out of pancakes. The, uh, you check it out, like his hat. It's like a big pancake that's been pushed and pulled to make it into, into his hat. Then his face, look at his face, and turn everything else off. His face looks like it's two pancakes that are kind of stacked on top of each other. So he's like made out of one big pancake there. Kind of funny, huh? Yeah, having having sweet buns for the... Uh <laughs> well, I mean... The booty was an after afterthought, but I feel like it was definitely the right move. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Uh, but like the elbows, the knees, uh, that was something that was part of you know, part of my original sketch. So I wanted to make sure that as much as possible. Oh, what did I hit? Ah, there we go. I don't want the slice circle. I want the select lasso. Um, painterly. Let's go ahead and grab that. Make sure that we're on the buns here. I just want the I just want the color to kind of blend in a little bit better. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to look too at the shoulder and I'm trying to determine whether or not it feels right. Um, in fact, here, let's, let's use the move topological because that'll make more sense. Um, I'm just gonna kind of get rid of some of that. I want to streamline that shape. Uh-oh, did ZBrush just crash? Come on. It's not a heavy model. You should not be crying. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Is the tongue made up with strawberry jam? It is. It's something like that, right? Yeah. Ah, I think ZBrush is trying to crash. That is so frustrating. <laughs> it should not be doing this. <laughs> Close the program. I'll take this opportunity to plug the ZBrush Summit.
Uh, let's hit the little internets button. Wrong profile. The internets button. There we go. All right. So, I mean, if you're interested in being able to find my links, I have my links right here. You can find my website, my Instagram, my Twitch, my YouTube, all, all sorts of things, different, uh, different places where I have tutorials and things like that for sale. I have a tip jar. <laughs> um, and then calendar, ZBrush, uh, ZBrush Live. Uh, we have this, um, our next presentation, our next uh, streamer, is Layla and it should be going tomorrow uh, at 11:30 Pacific time. So you know, feel free to go and, and check that out. Your ZBrush crashed at the same time. Oh no, maybe it's a maybe it's like a ZBrush just wanting to <laughs> to bump it out. Double tap that and see if we can get that going again. Uh, the most recent one was. Let's see if we can get. That's definitely not it. Yeah, I mean this looks this looks right. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do this thing where we go ahead and we say load the timeline. We'll say show load, and we'll grab that flapjack two, resize document to fit the track. Would you still like to crop the? Yes, I do. Control N, boom, and here we go. So now we're practically back to where we were. Okay. The um, the perspective isn't quite right, so let's go ahead and change this up to 120 is where I had it. Okay. So that way it's a little bit flatter, but it's not like super flat. Uh, yeah. I love how Siri just thinks that I'm talking to her all the time. <sighs> you can't train a computer. Um, let me see. Turn off spotlight projection. We'll say load spotlight. Boom. Okay. to make sure we have this saved. Okay. And this vial it feels about right. Just trying to look at it from different angles and see if I can figure out whether I want to try something different or, you know, how, if I can figure out ways to improve it, the positioning and the scale and things like that. Yeah, I want to grab this and kind of You know what? Let's let's use the Z modeler, I guess. Um, one of the cool things is that we can go ahead and we can say move eye outer radius or brush radius. So edge loop partial or some complete, something like that. Wow, that is not moving at all the way that I was expecting it to. Which means that the topology is all screwy. So I'll just I'll just do it my typical way. <laughs> Uh, let's come over here, select lasso, let me see, go to just regular move brush, just kind of sharpen up that corner up top on this side here, so that it more fits what's going on here.
just going to try to give it a couple of um, more specific sort of plane changes. Since this is cork, it's supposed to be pretty organic, especially because of the way that I want it to fit with my design. I want it to be pretty just like fun and spunky. But I do want to define this edge a little bit nicer. All right. Let's go ahead with that pinch brush and just kind of accent those edges. Cool. All right. To be able to check it, that looks good. That looks good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to call that arm pose a success. That's pretty dandy. I'll take it, and I'll run with it. Um, what made you for, go for this concept? I I actually made this concept. <laughs> it's a it's part of my. Um, it's part of my Food Demon series. Um, and I'm trying to come up with like different ideas of things that I, I, I'm going to give him a vest because his body's very plain. Um, I think it just feels like it needs something. Um, but I don't want to cover up those buns. I was going to give him overalls, but that would cover up the buns, and I don't want to cover up the buns. <laughs> the buns are fun. So, so yeah. Um, one of the things that I... Yeah, so I guess to show you, this is something that I haven't pulled out a ton. But... See if the images will load so that I can see what I'm looking for. Because that's not what I want to load up. I want to load up um, a lineup. I know that I have a lineup. I just, it's not loading. Come on, you. There we go. This is a lineup. Some some of these are kind of outdated and they've been worked on a little bit more. Uh, this is Beefcake. He actually looks quite a bit different now. He has like a Letterman jacket and whatnot. Um, and I've got like Elote over here. <laughs> He's a luchador. <laughs> It'll be fun to do at some point. Um, this is Sweet Tooth. He was the he was the first food demon. And then his flapjack is the one that I designed after that. Um, I started straying away from having like full food, like you know, having the characters made fully out of food at a certain point. You know, this is sugar, this is pumpkin spice, this is mystery meat, uh, sushiyama, <laughs> beef cake, salt, pepper, uh, cream puff. This is um, muffin top. And this guy in the back is Spaghettron. <laughs> um, obviously in a world of all of his own. Um, but yeah, this is like tons of fun trying to figure out um, Yeah, so this is this is kind of where where I'm planning on on taking it at some point. Uh Lee, your question about sculptress. I very 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 rarely use sculptress. Um the only time I use it is to be able to play or to design something. And if I'm making something that's more final, like, I mean, if you notice my, my model um, has clean topology, like this is, this is production ready. Like this is, this is nice stuff and it's, it's set up in a way 
that I can go ahead and I can use it in a, in an animation pipeline. Um, obviously he's posed, so I mean it doesn't work that way anymore. Um, but yeah, just like using clean pieces to make sure that everything is um, manageable, usable, and fun. I mean even even the buttons have you know nice clean topology. So. Yeah, it's 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 all about kind of what what purposes you have. Um, let's say actual and get this get this guy rolling. Okay, let's worry about that cream. I think even even if if just for now, we'll keep the cream as it is, but we want to kind of shrink it so that it is not so large. Uh, this particular piece, though. Um, I might have used some Sculptures Pro on this one. I can't remember for sure, but I know for sure that I used Dynamesh. Um, and Dynamesh, when I'm trying to like sculpt something out, figure something out, design something, Dynamesh is my preferred method. But there are some times where it's like there are just little details that I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm trying to sketch things in. I just want to go loose and... and you know, have have fun with it, whatever. Um, those are times where going into Sculptress Pro mode will definitely be beneficial. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I tend to use it. Um, but more often than not, I, I, I usually actually stay away from it. It's not something that's usable for production unless you're designing something, unless you're getting like your high poly stuff done for a bake and you're trying to <laughs> work out certain details. I don't know, like, whatever. Um, it's like now that feels like it's a little bit too small okay let's see does that feel better size wise that feels better um, I still think that I want to make something new for the cream part of it uh, because yeah I, I, I like I like the aesthetic I like the the way that my fluffy cloud <laughs> approach works um, Yep, I've got a whole lineup, <laughs> which is fun. You know, it's it, it's it's nice to have something like that. Um, I've so far, I ones that I've made, I've made salt and pepper, uh, though I don't have them in the lineup currently. I have pumpkin spice. I have mystery meat and sushiyama. Uh, sugar's on the way. We're working on flapjack right now. Um, but I'd I'd like to I'd like to get in and make a lote soon, because he's funny, he's a funny dude. Um, uh, muffin top's kind of funny too. And then uh, let me see if I have. Oh, now the images all pop up. Yeah, so this is this is what beefcake looks like now. Just kind of fits the uh, the aesthetic of <laughs> being a jock and everything. Uh, just a little bit better. Um, here's kind of like a like an action pose for sugar. <laughs> My daughter loves sugar. Like she's like, when are you gonna do that? And it's like I don't know. Here's like another one. So yeah, just going through and kind of playing with poses to try to figure out like, you know, what she would look like when she's fighting. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of fun stuff going on. I try to have fun with things. Mm. 
Okay, let me see. 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 Let's grab this uh, butter. Make it so that it's more in contact with that uh, pancake surface there. Something like that looks like that works nicely. <laughs> Might get loud for a second here. My wife says she's going to turn on the juicer, so here it goes. I'll probably just leave my mic off while uh, while this happens, so that way she doesn't have to worry about interfering or anything. Oh, I, they did, I don't think she's turned it on yet. I haven't heard it yet. So if she has turned it on, it's not very easy to hear. <laughs> yeah, I just figured I'll turn my mic off so that in case, you know, when she does turn it on, hopefully we won't hear it. But yeah, it does get kind of loud. Maybe I'll just leave it. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, so let me see. What do we have next? I'm going to see about... Oh, let's go back to our to our render view. Let's say zoom. Um, currently... Okay, so the hair, the bacon hair is something that I want to work out. And I also want to make a vest for him. I also want to see if I were to come over here and just hit turntable. Oh, his hand gets clipped off the side. So I definitely want to have like a square document or even a wide document to be able to make this work. But uh, it's good to know. It's good to know kind of how things line up when you're when you're doing a turntable. Um, should be all right. All right. <coughs> Let's see, let's kind of narrow that out so that I only have to worry about seeing the one thing there. I want, what do I want? What do I want? I, can you guys hear the juicer now? It's on now. Yeah, I don't think it's picking it up. So I think we're good. I think we're all right. <laughs> kind of a nice little experiment. <laughs> all right. Bacon hair. This is why everybody came. They're like, bacon. Let's go into actual, uh, actual size so that we can see everything properly.
Okay, that piece is starting to look a little bit more like bacon. And I think a lot of it is just because of the like the swirl in and out. Um, yeah, I should put probably like a few little strawberry seeds on his tongue. I, I don't know. That might be something that I, uh, that I add in at some other later point, but we'll have to see. It's a good idea, though. Do something kind of like this. I'll bring this down, bring this up. Okay, so now that piece of bacon feels pretty cool. Placement-wise, it's not the best, but we'll uh, we'll fix that. We will do that. Make it come from the right place. Okay, let me see. Let's grab this. I'm trying to look at the <coughs> at the concept and figure out if there are any special shapes that it has. Um, Anything that I can do to it to make it feel more dynamic and like I'm liking I'm liking how that's coming along. I think that that's starting to feel like something. Okay, so now it's just a matter of going through and and kind of controlling corners and trying to make sure that I'm yeah you know, that I'm that I'm just getting shapes that are interesting. Uh, shapes that support the idea of what it is, um, shapes that stay stylized and fit within the realm of what it is that we're making. Oh, I'm not sure what that emoji is. See Thor Sword. Let's see if we can figure out figure out what that is. It's a Facebook emoji, so I can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell what that is. But welcome. <laughs> cool. So that's doing all right. I'm gonna grab this and start to make like a lot. A lot of what I'm trying. Oh, that was messy. Uh, a lot of what I'm trying to accomplish with this comes from uh, just pushing and pulling apexes, which is going to be you know, these uh, these corners that I'm that I'm forcing into into the flow. Not every piece is going to need to have, well, they're, they're certainly going to need to have their own flow to be, make it feel like bacon. Because, like, this would not be something that would feel very good if it looked like hair. <laughs> it definitely should behave more like bacon, less like hair. Um... Sometimes maybe it's a matter of getting like a simpler flow on the bottom and getting kind of a 
complex flow on the top or getting an offset or getting getting those sorts of things happening. Grab this little bit here. Make it make something. But like, yeah, by, by controlling proximity, we're going to get different flows and we'll be able to create some interesting shapes here. This feels like it's getting a little bit thin. So I'm just going to puff it out some. It's like that'll be something that I'll have to do periodically too, is just go through and do kind of a thickness control. Um, with this particular character, since I'm aiming it to be a 3D printed thing, <laughs> having it as, uh, having it a little bit thicker is going to be helpful. something kind of like that I gotta try to check it from different angles too to make sure that it's feeling right okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab this side of it give I'm essentially trying to give the bacon a little bit of a twist I mean there are multiple ways to go through and do this right but just going to give it a little bit of a twist something like something like this so that we're seeing like the underside of the bacon here because I feel like that's creating a bit more of that dynamic sort of uh, sort of flow I mean, we're getting kind of a similar sort of idea here with this piece If anybody out there worked on the uh, Super Pets video game for PlayStation, uh, my son super enjoys it. <laughs> he's been jamming on it now more than he does like Hogwarts Legacy and other games that he's been super into lately. So, good job. <laughs> good job. Okay, so that's coming along. This piece right here is kind of, I don't like how it's breaking that silhouette too much here. Let's do something like that. It's like, oh, it gets so messy. <laughs> I wonder if I just, I'm going to add one subdivision level, just say delete lower. This should hopefully give me a little bit better control or a little bit more flexibility. Not so much control, but flexibility is definitely something that I want for these pieces. Is anybody planning on going to the ZBrush Summit this year? Like to the in-person ZBrush Summit?
It is the 10th anniversary of the Zebra Summit. Happens on my birthday weekend. And see about getting some interesting shape here. Got to hit save every once in a while because I don't want to see it go away. What is going on right here? This is really weird. No idea why that was like that. And it's like this has thickness to it that's really odd. So let's let's go ahead and make it so that it feels more like a twist instead of like <laughs> instead of like a thick like is it pork chops or is it bacon? Of course, it'll be extremely interesting to see how this prints. Um, I'm guessing that I'm going to need to thicken up all the bacon, period. Um, Okay, cool. I'm going to say modify topology. Let's say delete hidden. And I'm just going to take what we have and <coughs> let's say control click and drag. And then we'll just reposition this so that this is fitting in this other section. Grab the move brush and pull that into place. And so now we have some better bacon hair. Build better bacon. Oops. Hate it when I do that. Cool, so we've got bacon. Bacon. Does anybody remember those commercials? <laughs> they might still happen. I don't know. I don't have cable. I don't have TV. <coughs> Let's kind of shorten that up a little bit. Let's let it over in here. We'll pull this one down some. And then let's come over here. Let's give it all uh, individual poly groups just so we have a little bit more control in that way. This yellow guy right here, let's go ahead and take that down. going to be a matter of like pushing and pulling quite a bit through here just to make sure this is all cozied in. But we're getting somewhere. It's going straight through that orange. Good grief. Okay, not too shabby. And that's penetrating down here, so let's kind of pull that up and over a little bit. Et voila! Tocino! Let's make sure that we save. And then this feels like, this feels like it matches the aesthetic. It might not match it perfectly, but it feels right. That's uh, that's a big, big deal there. I do want to take one of these. Let's say control click and drag to be able to duplicate that off. We'll say deformation mirror, so that it's flipped to the other side. And then I really just want to manipulate this so that this is um, 
you just coming out from this other side makes it feel like it's integrated. Um, I want to take, let's, let's pull this up and in a little bit. I want to take, okay, that looks like it's running in the right direction. I'm going to come over here. We're going to say bend curve. We're going to add an extra layer of, or an extra, an extra manipulation point. Et voila. bring this and then we can uh, actually I think it's the orange one yeah twist just add a little bit of twist there grab this one you know, give it a little bit of twist here Something like that, maybe. It feels pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll say accept. In fact, maybe not. I mean, let's 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 see. Oh no! There we go. Okay, a little bit better. <coughs> the thing I was looking at is that it just felt like it was um, flowing too much with the. Yeah, let's say, let's say, untwisted some or something. I don't know. Um, now let's come in here and let's say accept. Yeah, I just I just want to kind of make it so that it feels like there is a little bit of I'll say an independence to these uh, chunks of bacon. That twist might be a little too twisted. I'll leave it though. I'll leave it. I'll leave it kind of how it is now. Kind of like that. Should be kind of fun. Hey Sonor, how you doing? Uh, I'm new on ZBrush. I'd like to ask you a question. Oh yeah, I mean there you go. You have to ask if you want to ask a question. <laughs> Uh, whether or not I answer specific questions here on stream, it's that's a different that's a different animal entirely. But because um, yeah, there are there are certain questions that get asked on the stream that are very involved and and involve a lot of demoing, and you know for those sorts of things, I would I would uh, probably pass on, but. You know, there are other questions that are just like, you know, chatting and talking and Yeah, I think it's 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 definitely more than okay to ask questions. That's what chat's for. <laughs> chatting. It's gonna go ahead and give that bacon a little bit of an inflate. That might be too much actually. That looks good. And it might be one of those things too where I go ahead and I inflate near the base and then leave everything else kind of intact out toward the ends so that it, it's it's nice and sturdy toward uh, toward the base and then gets to be aesthetic toward the tip. Something that I learned from Disney Infinity. Pretty cool. Ah, 
This is exciting, guys. I love seeing these things come to life. <laughs> so, <clears throat> to be able to make this guy feel more final. Um, a couple of things that I want to do. I do want to make new cream. I don't know that I want to do that today. It's 9.30. Um, maybe what I'll do the rest of the stream is uh, whip up a new vest for him because I think that that would be cool and it could add to the aesthetic without taking away from you know different elements that I've added in to have fun <laughs> um, uh, and then there are a couple of other little things too. I think like the uh, the strawberry top here. This might be a little bit too. Um, what's it called? Might be a little bit too large. Kind of zoom out a little bit. That could be all right. Just kind of like lengthen these out instead of instead of having them be like tall, having them be. Yeah, I don't like that. That other leaf is now like super hidden from that view. I want it to be visible in that view. So it's like there's a there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to like work out compositionally, because uh, the composition is important for for this particular piece because I want it to be, you know, I want it I want it to feel like my concept. So even though it's not going to be exactly like my concept, I I, I still kind of want it to be. You know what? I might try something. That's interesting. Just taking the strawberry and turning it. <coughs> Let's see. Just kind of raise it up a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that it's it's fitting more or less in the right spot in the cream, but I like I like that composition better. I do want to make this uh, the stem uh, reach up a little bit better, uh, but. C'est simple. C'est très simple. Compositionally, it feels much more exciting now. <clears throat> um, I'm going to maybe shrink it just a smidge. And then positioning wise, let's actually take it over here. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know what I done a long time ago, but I changed my lights on ZBrush. I turned on some lights, etc., and I saved as default. Now I want to change the lights again and save them as default, but open ZBrush. I don't remember how to do that. Um, that's a good question. 
That's a good question. Um, let me do something. Because, like, my, my lights are default. Like, I, I don't have anything that I've changed with them. I can go through and change them. Um, let me go ahead. I'll say save. I'm going to put these into... Yeah, I guess I'll put them right here. That's fine. Here's what I'm going to do. If you want to be able to to get the default lights, uh, granted, what what version of ZBrush are you working in? Um, I guess just to be able to show you what's happening with the lights, this is this is what's happening. It's like this. It's this one light turned on. It's placed position wise right here. I mean, if you click if you click right here on the sphere, it'll put it to the back. So you know, I recommend making sure that that's on the front. Um, the intensity is set to this, the ambient is set to this, distance is set to this. So if you go through and do that, and then you save and save it over your old, uh, your old lights, that should, uh, unless you're talking about like environment maps or, um, let me see, it seemed like there was another one, like placement, like type. Uh, unless you're talking about something like this, this this will often go through and have different things, uh, like you can you can make your own light cap, if you will. Um, but yeah, really, th that should be that should be the only thing you have to really worry about is that is making the lights kind of something like this, just one basic light, white in color, you know, intensity is just under one. Um, you might need to save your config. Yeah, I think Leonard might be right. Yeah, I think you might be right, Leonard. That's uh let's try that. I kind of want to take that uh Take the stem of the strawberry. Here, let's kind of push. Nah, I don't want to push it in. Um, turn off. Let's grab the stem. Um, I want to grab the stem, and I want to say maybe we'll. Uh, kind of push that a little bit. Just so that shape-wise, it's a little bit more interesting. I think that that's starting to starting to work. Scale it down a little bit, maybe. Let's maybe widen out some of these. Leaves in here. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That'll work. Um, I do still want to go through and work out the cream, but you know, it's definitely a lot better. Um, twenty twenty two point oh five. Yeah. So so try so try going through and and uh, modifying the lights like that. Like Leonard said, try um, you know storing configuration. So once you get everything set, you can come over here to preferences. Uh, you can say um, config, hit store config. One of the other things you can do is you can hit initialize ZBrush, and that'll change a few things. It'll change your document. However, you know if you have your document set to something custom, you're gonna have to reset it. But the nice thing is, is that underneath un, underneath the uh, initialized ZBrush, that'll go through and that'll that'll kind of refresh or factory reset a lot of your settings. Um, there are some things like I think uh, keyboard shortcuts stay the same, um, so I don't know maybe maybe it won't affect lighting and things like that the way that we're uh, thinking it might, but it could be it could be worth trying. Um,
it's a little bit too far out there. Yeah, I'm just I'm just testing things right now to kind of see. see about getting things to fit the way that I want. Cool. All right, that cream's going to be a job for a different day, I think. Ah, oh, bummer. Um, yeah, so I think I think that's the only thing that I would that I would do then is I would go through and I would, you know, change the lights to be exactly the way that you want it. You know, just something simple like this where it's got one single light and um get the placement, get the intensity, the ambient, the, the distance, and then go ahead and hit uh hit save and then save over the old file, which I think uh, should be inside of uh, the Maxon ZBrush folder. It should be underneath, I think, maybe Z Data. Things like this typically are inside of here. So it's just kind of a matter of looking for startup resources. No. Textures, ZBC, certificates, lightbox, brush presets. Let's see if we can find this, because this could be a, a good thing to know, even just because. Um, I feel like it would be in here, but it doesn't look like it's in there. It shouldn't be in here. Okay. Light caps. Nope, it's not in there. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead open up the internets. Where are my internets? Give me my internets. All right, let's jump into this. Let's say um, where does ZBrush All lighting properties are saved with the zebra scene file. The page isn't working, no! Uh, because the scene This is definitely like very old version of ZBrush, but I don't see anything about where it's actually saved. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's 
save light positions. I've never been able to save my lights. Lighting is the most important aspect of my final renders. I can waste the entire day. Uh, suggestions. Every time you save a Z-Doc, all the lighting is saved with it. Lights go back to default. I have no idea like what they're even talking about. Like none of this is actually making any sense. So, um I don't know. I mean that if if there is somewhere to be able to save the lighting. <coughs> Spotlights is not it. Spotlight is a different thing entirely. Huh. Troubleshooting help. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, that's an interesting question. I hadn't, I had never really thought about it. <laughs> no problem, please. <laughs> you're like, you're like getting bored of watching me try to figure things out. <laughs> it's like, just stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see about picking. Say material, say color, fill object on a couple of these so that we get some different materials. Let's grab the eyes. We'll say make the eyes vinyl, I think. Yeah, vinyl, I think. Let's see about maybe making the strawberry vinyl too. Let's let's just see kind of how that treats it. Um has deformation layers, huh? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to just apply a glass. Oh yeah, there's my SMA glass. Let's go ahead and do that. Material, color, fill object. Color, fill object. Okay. So we're in position. Have it saved. Render. Redshift. Redshift turned on. And then let's just test it out. See what we get. Um, it's taking its time. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the, um, I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like what you're talking about now with uh, like startup doc, you know, saving the startup doc is, it's definitely its own thing. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything like that for lights, like you're saying, but I don't know. I mean, you, you might have seen something like that. It's always tricky. It's always tricky. 
Okay, so a few materials that I'm liking so far. I think I'll leave the strawberry as it is. I think I'll leave the pancake you know, body bits as it is. The glass is all right. Um, the bacon could use something different. The butter doesn't feel quite as bright as I'd like it to feel. And then the jam in his mouth feels a little bit like the teeth. I want the teeth to feel a little bit more glossy. So like, let's, let's see if we can get let's see, there's vinyl, there's basic, there's uh, rubber, if I remember right, is pretty matte. I don't want it to feel matte. Let's try plastic semi rough, and we'll we'll see what 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 we come up with with this. Not that no. Maybe I'll try it on this too. I'll say color fill object just to just to see kind of what it is that it does. I suspect it'll give me a little bit of a highlight. And that's what I'm wanting. Um. I don't want to have like a harsh highlight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see kind of how this uh how this rolls out. It is looking glossy. Uh so now it's just a matter of deciding whether or not it's too gloss oh that's beautiful. I love that. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> Okay, the bacon needs to be different. The uh, the corks can be different. And I think with the corks, let's go through and we'll we'll actually paint those here in a, in a moment, um, just so we get some nice color variety to it. Uh, let's see, but that's looking pretty cool. The cream definitely needs to be different because it's just not right. Um, the color on the egg whites needs to be a little bit less blotchy. It's a little bit too um, too speckly. But yeah. The default settings are in the Z startup folder. I swear I looked in there. I don't know, I have to look a different time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I have to look a different time. <sighs> it's always the fun thing is like when you, when you know that something is supposed to exist and you go looking for it, but it's not where you expect it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you do? Um, okay, so let me see. Cork color. Bacon color slash material. Um... And it might be worth adding in because, like, you know, bacon will have kind of like, I don't know, it has like, like greasy, bubbly <laughs> texture to it. So maybe it's worth uh, making a uh, a surface surface noise for that. I'm gonna put this on there. We'll say color fill object. I want to go. Let's go back to that other render. Just wanted to see if I like the strawberry or not. The strawberry feels all right. I'll leave. I'll leave the strawberry as it is. Okay. 
maybe we'll maybe we'll make give the butter that material to the this the more specular material so that way that way it feels a little bit more melty and and things like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Sometimes sometimes I get into like this uh into this mode of here, let's go ahead and uh, do not switch. Um of like that's way too colorful. Um where it's like I I I I I think of something and then I just get like tunnel visioned to that one thing purely because I need to know. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's just kind of funny. Here it's a color spray. This is what I wanted. Um, take this down. Just get myself a slightly different color here. And I'm going to I'm going to say let's grab mask lasso. And let's start brushing on there. Call that all right for now. Let's just kind of take this this other one up to that um, to that level. Sorry, <laughs> sounded a little bit Irish there. Oop. Okay. So now one of the things that I want to do to be able to make this feel a little bit more uh, controlled is we're going to come over here to masking. Let's go uh, mask by, oh, let's say, let's say save. <laughs> uh, mask by smoothness. Let's see, now we're getting to something like this. Same thing, mess by smoothness. And we'll just kind of like brush this in a little bit. That gives me like a nice little color shift. I mean, I still want to go through, let's say, uh, mess by peaks and valleys. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we'll add an extra little bit of this uh, this lighter color to the edges. Okay, that just helps to give it a little bit of a kind of control to it. Here, let's say uh, peaks and valleys. going to try to emphasize these holes a little bit. Not by doing a whole lot. I just want to I just want to make it a little bit darker, right? Just makes it stand out some in a in a way that feels more purposeful. And you notice I'm I'm like working my way back and forth to try to <laughs> to try to play with these uh these holes some and make it feel a little bit more uh well, somewhat even I guess is kind of what I'm what I'm shooting for making it feel like they're consistent. 
That feels pretty cool. So now as for a material, what do we have applied to this right now? Clay. Let's try just putting on the standard basic. Or leather. What does leather look like for this? Let's go ahead and say material. Actually, let's keep this on there. Let's say go over here to standard color. Um, is there anything else I want to try to change materials for? Oh, let's 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 do the same thing for the bacon. Let's let's go ahead and we'll paint up the bacon, and then we'll uh, we'll add in um, yeah we'll try to try to figure this out. I'm just going to add in some slight color variation, just going over it with my painterly brush. I think I might need to. boost my color just a little bit here so you see I'm just going over it just nice and soft but it's getting me a little bit of like a color variation you can see like there's some like orange coming in right here maybe some like green over here some pinks you know so it's 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 really really subtle but it's helping to start to uh, to shift to shift the final look a little bit. All right, let's just kind of fill this in. I'll kind of fill in the bottom side of it a little bit so that it feels like there's like some, uh, some lighting information kind of pulled into it. But then on top of that, you see, let's let's check. Let's grab something like this, something like this, this, and this. Say this one and this one and this one and this one. I'm just trying to go through and get stripes of uh, the bacon. It won't be like perfect stripes, but it'll be stripes. Um, and this sh should allow me to uh, to go ahead and you know, kind of just creating this interesting sort of dynamic in the way that it looks in the end. So we're going to try doing something like that, not that. And I'm not being very particular. I'm just kind of getting stripes. Something like that. We'll invert. I'll say Control A, invert again. Okay, this is really weird. This red bit right here. It feels like. Oh, it's because there's there's no separation between it. I see. I see. I see. See, are there any others that are like that where it's just one? Yeah, this orange one down here. So I'm going to need to move this over. Hopefully, hopefully you can see what it is that I'm that I'm talking about. I've, I'm like this green one right here. You see, there's only like one strand going between the gaps. Um, I want to make sure that there is. You know that there are a couple of strands going between each gap, so that way there is a bit masked out in the center. Otherwise, it's going to end up all pink because of the way that the masking will work. Uh, same thing down here. Let's see, let's grab this. Um, 
All right, I think we're ready. Yeah, we're ready now. Okay. So let's grab our baking color. Let's bring this up. Something maybe like this. Let's test this out. There we go. Instant bacon. <laughs> and we'll just kind of go over it a little bit, just lightly, the whole thing, just to add some variation so that there are some ins and outs. And there we go. We have bacon. Super simple. <laughs> yeah, I love masking, guys. Like, masking is so, so nice. Hey, Prashan. <laughs> Dude, Prashan is in the chat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm excited to see kind of how it turns out in the end. Um, here, let me see. Material, color, fill object. Let's just let's just see kind of what this leather material looks like. Zoom out some. Hit save because I don't want to lose a thing. <laughs> and then uh, let's see kind of how this how this goes. We might have to work out some uh, some some more compositional things here. Uh, one of the things that I'm seeing looking at my my characters like we look through here at where the fingers coming to and it's creating like this weird tangent with how like the top of the thigh and everything right there I, I want to have this overlap this a little bit more I think that, that would make a little bit cleaner um, okay I'm liking the material choices one thing for sure that I want to do beyond what I've already done I'm not, I'm not particularly keen on the corks. Um, I think a lot of it's going to have to do with color. Um, and I also want to add some color ver variation to the, to the leaf. The bacon's looking good, but I do want to add some, uh, some surface noise to it so that it looks a little bit, uh, um, yeah, so that it adds it adds a little bit more of that bacon sort of look. So let's do that. Are we still? Yeah, we still have the the bacon selected. Uh, let's come over here. We're going to say actual. We'll say surface noise. Uh, oh, here. Let's say cancel. Let's say lightbox noise makers. Um. This one's pretty nice. This one's pretty nice. What I'm trying to look for is a surface noise that can get me kind of like a, yeah, this one might be nice. This one feels a little bit less uh, overstated, so maybe we'll try that one. We can try a couple of them. Then there's, there's nothing kind of holding us back from doing any of these. Um, yeah, let's try this one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is one, I don't want the color affecting it. So let's come over here, we'll say edit. I don't want the color blend at all. Okay. The scale is a little bit crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this down quite a bit. And you can see like now it's starting to make a completely different look. Uh, the strength is negative, which means that all those details are going in, I want the details to come out. You see just that little bit right there helps to add a little bit more of a, of a feeling to the, to the bacon. Let's do something like that. Let's say, okay. Because now that, that feels a little bit more bacon-like. 
it's not amazing, but it's it'll do. Um, with this, let's go ahead. We will say. Just kind of fill this in a little bit, get a little bit more of that uh, softer color transition so that it's not so blotchy. Okay. The butter, I also feel like the butter could use some color change. Um, I'm going to come over here, let's say poly paint, adjust colors, let's say frame. Let's say RGB intensity. We'll just kind of dial that up a little bit. And I think that will probably work. That that feels a little bit nicer. For the corks, let's try something similar. Adjust colors, frame. Okay. Maybe take the saturation, kind of tone it down. Maybe take the hue shift and push it. Do I like that? I feel like I'm getting somewhere closer to where I want to be. It's just a matter of kind of finishing it out. Um, yeah, so maybe it's just a matter of taking that color and kind of using it to supplement what's happening on this other cork. Add that in, we'll add this in, just kind of playing back and forth with this so that it feels a little bit more controlled. And that feels all right. That feels all right. So now if only the cream were <laughs> in the same boat, <laughs> what we could do. We could kind of stretch it out vertically, something like that maybe. Let's kind of pull this over against the strawberry more. Something like that's already starting to feel a little bit better. I do need that to be a little bit offset though so that it's not going straight through. <coughs> and you know what? I kind of want to experiment with some sort of surface noise for the cork just to give it a little extra corkiness, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hola Jesús, <laughs> ¿cómo te ha ido? I do, I do a lot of box modeling. Um, in fact, this character was built with box modeling, so it's <laughs> um, it's just that right now I'm going through and I'm kind of sculpting it into position and making a... Um, how did you do the strawberry leaves? That's where I would tell you to go back and watch the previous stream. <laughs> um, we could go through and find it here in a minute, but um, 
but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a time that I'll refer you to. Oh, there we go. This could be a good surface noise. What else could we use? Yeah, we'll just we'll just use uh, we'll just use that one. So so yeah. Um, let's say frame. We'll bring that scale down. Uh, we'll say the plugin. Bring that down. And we can see like kind of what's happening there. It doesn't feel quite right. So let me see if we can get. There we go. See, that's a little bit cooler. I'm liking that. That's 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 feeling really interesting. You know, it's getting a really different sort of look to it. Um, <clears throat> let me see if we can get. Something like that, let's say. I want to say copy, set OK, and see now, now it feels like it's got a much more interesting sort of look to it. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead to the noise, we'll say paste, we'll say OK. So now we've got that same noise on each cork. Really fun. Oh, that's going to be neat. All right, so let's come into our, let's hit actual and then we'll just kind of put this in position on the screen the way that we want it hit save because that's you know what we got to do and we'll hit that render and we'll go ahead and we'll chat again <coughs> sharp cheddar um yeah we'll go ahead and we'll look for the earlier stream uh cuz cuz that's uh cuz that'll be that'll be a time to be able to to look through what's there um. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Jesus. Um, I can't believe back in the day everything was done using box modeling. Sculpting was not invented or implemented. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing. That bacon looks awesome. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks great. <laughs> You're not bad. Oh, I forgot to do the leaves on the on the. Uh, like do the uh, the color bit on the leaves that I wanted to do. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Dang, that's looking cool. That's looking cool. <laughs> it's so fun to go through and to like start to <laughs> start to work out all your. Uh, gonna say maybe tweaking the tweaking the view just a slight bit I'm just trying to figure out I mean there are some things that are not quite the same as the sketch but I'm trying to balance out a few things Cause like I, I still want it to feel right as I as I turn around and look at it from different angles. Um, you know what? I am interested in getting. Something a little bit more like this. Let's grab. Grab my painterly brush again. I'm 
with this particular piece, I'm going to want to probably add a subdivision here or there to to kind of allow myself a little bit more, I'll say freedom, <laughs> um, get myself a little bit nicer of of a density for these point colors. Let's see if we can just kind of lighten it up a little bit. I think it's getting a little too let's say geometry. Uh, I'll I'll just turn on the dynamic. I think that that'll probably be for the best. It's a simple thing, but you know it'll make some sort of difference. I still feel like he's not quite long enough, and so I think that let's uh, <laughs> let's do this one more time. I'm going to say Z plugin, or say transpose master. I want to take that head and raise it up some, which means we're going to have to change. Oh, funny story. So when I first sketched out uh, Flapjack, I gave him a flat green color like this. Uh, so that I could, you know, visualize the 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 silhouette, the the shape. It was kind of uh, it was kind of kind of fun. So anyway, with the with the gizmo, let's go ahead. We'll get a selection for the head, which should work quite nicely. Gotta grab the butter. Gotta grab the bacon. <clears throat> Invert all that. So now I've got the head free of the body. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, let's go ahead and change our color up to something light. Um, I'm liking this. The thing that I'm struggling with now is that I just need to, I just need to go through and fix the shoulder uh, shape in here, which is not a big deal. This is not a big deal. It's just a matter of going through, grabbing the shoulder and pulling on it. Uh, there will be some things in here to kind of say smooth out maybe but I think that lengthening out that uh, that neck sum like that I think that that'll be super helpful in getting this to feel right it definitely feels much more like the concept now it's just a simple little thing, a simple little matter of taking it and pushing it a little bit further. I run into that all the time, where it's like it's just a matter of you know me pushing things hard enough. So one of the things I'm trying to look at here, why does it have a color? It shouldn't have a color. 
trying to look at the silhouette here and how that um, how that shape flows. It's looking good. Cool. Dude. Okay, this has been a very fantastic stream. <laughs> this has been super helpful to me, um, obviously, you know, getting getting a project like this at a point where I feel like he's you know, where he's done, where he's where he feels good, you know. Um yeah, let's go ahead and we'll pull this up. kind of fill in some of these uh, some of these cream gaps smooth out some here this is feeling a little bit crowded a little bit too creased Trying to, I'm trying to work out this shape right here a little bit because it feels like it's too same same from one side to the other. That feels a little bit better. It feels like it has a better flow too. That that, that could work. I just wanted to make sure that this that this shape right here wasn't awkward and like cutting the strawberry directly in half. So I'm trying to go through and find a good position for it where it feels like it's fitting on um, like that like that far third. I mean, if we look at it from straight on, it's it's kind of cutting it down the middle, but that's not the composition. That's not where I'm trying to trying to look at it from. Here, let's uh, let's let's fix this arm a little bit because I feel like. Let's go ahead and make sure that that's all masked out. Make sure this is all masked out. We'll have to make a couple of little tweaks here, but it should be fine. Let's go ahead and just kind of move this over. it up a little bit too and that feels pretty good yeah, let's go ahead and we'll say I mean everything stayed pretty decent let's let's do this move that out a little bit so that it's not penetrating too weird to think I was going to call this done an hour ago. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to take... Come on. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take these fingers and just kind of lengthen them a little bit. Maybe shorten the thumb a little bit too. I wanted I want to get a certain shape. I want this to feel like there's more of that upper hand because that upper hand is a lot longer than the thumb. So I want to make sure that that feeling is there, um, even if it's not. Not quite right or not quite enough. I don't know. It's 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 like. I just want to make sure that it's there. It feels like it's it's there. It's just going to be different from different angles. 
make sure that I have everything visible, everything unmasked. Yeah, that's feeling that's feeling pretty good, guys. I'm liking that. Is there anything? I I've already got the the frosting kind of worked out. That should be that should be good. All right, let's do this. I'm going to take this uh, Z plugin, transpose, T pose to sub T, and we're going to watch everything change. It's one of the most satisfying things to me <laughs> about Transpose Master. It's just watching everything come in from, uh, let's go ahead and hit save. It's watching everything come in again. It's just fun. Um, yeah, here, let me, let me look. I'm going to go ahead and hit render. Let's go ahead, pull up the streams. Go into Pixelogic. Go into Live. And then we'll scroll down. There aren't a ton of uh, streamers these days, so it wouldn't. It's right here. It's this one right here. So I'm going to say Share, Copy. Right there. So this is the stream where uh, where I went through and created that. Um, that leaf bit on top. So you can see I guess started off from, from this. It's pretty close to the beginning, so you don't have to worry about like looking too far. Um, and yeah, I went through and kind of bridged things together, created a nice clean shape, extruded a stem out. So it, it was it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. I'm going to like it, <laughs> like my own stream, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, those are options for you. Um, for anybody who is interested, in fact, let me let me go ahead and open up links again here. I should probably go ahead and add this link to it. But what I want to do is I want to show. Um, we have, let's go into community underneath the ZBrush Central uh, site. There's these uh, details for the ZBrush Summit. Just click on that, zbrushsummit.com. Um, really fun, okay? For anybody interested in competing, there is this, uh, the sculpt off. And it, they might have posted the link recently, but I'm going to post the link here too. Um, the ZBrush Sculpt Off, it's, it is a competition. Um, I don't really particularly uh, take it as a competition per se. Uh, here, let me, let me reset the zoom. That's like way too large. Um, every eligible participant receives a lifetime XMD premium toolbox for free. Okay, that's a pretty cool, cool thing. Uh, they got a lot of interesting brushes and things like that as part of that. Um, event spot. Ooh, it just, something happened. What happened? Uh-oh. Load it on up. All right. So if we wanted to be able to learn about the, uh, the rules and everything, where are the rules at? Mythical Journey. Let's see. Brush Current Central. Let's see. Wait to put where are the rules? Interesting. Um, cause there's, there's, oh, here we go. Contest rules and information. It's a button. It's a big green button right there that if I just click it, everything is resolved. <laughs> um, this is a really cool um, opportunity. It's just it's just fun, you know. Like for me, it's just fun. But you come in here. There here are all the different prompts. So different character prompts. You have different uh, different characters that you can go through and do. Uh, Ragnarok is a feared warrior, battle hardened face. Um, Angus the dragon or creature, you know, whatever. Like all sorts of interesting things going in here. Yeah, Nightbot. I've got this. I've got this. So it's okay. Go away. Go away, Nightbot. <laughs> um, all on the troll. 
uh, Yannitz, the mechanical guardian, uh, different elemental prompts too. You know, we got fire, wind, water, stone, earth. We've got an elf. We've got an archer. You know, lots of different ideas here for things to be able to work with. Um, definitely a ton of thought and a ton of work going into prepping these ideas. So, uh, you know, for me myself, like I do this every time because I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but the idea is, is sword and sorcery, a mythical journey into the realms. Okay. So really, really cool. And, uh, it, it's just a fun time. It's just an opportunity to go in to, um, you know, to play with the software, to come up with something creative and yeah, I'm liking this. This looks great. <laughs> um, something that is kind of bothering me um that i think will be worth modifying uh you can see right here the tooth the tooth edge that bottom edge comes to that exact same point where the bottom of that arm is i want to make sure that one goes past the other um i'm not entirely certain which one I want to have uh, in my concept, in my sketch, I have it so that the tooth is obviously like not past the arm. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make it come past the arm because I think that that might be best. Um, let's come over here to the teeth. And instead of modifying the arm, because, I mean, that could obviously be one of the solutions, uh, I'm just going to modify the tooth. Just trying to make sure that that's breaking the silhouette in an interesting way. And now I think we're good. Hit save. <laughs> Hit save. And while this renders, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll finish up, talk about the... Uh, and talk about stuff <clears throat> but yeah so the zebra summit it's it's fun uh if you if you come uh you'll have a good time uh, there are a lot of people to talk to a lot of cool presentations including some of my friends from from work uh working on putting together a presentation about um about overwatch and the making of overwatch so really really neat lots of fun stuff kind of kind of coming through that you know, that I already know about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so much to see, so much to hear, so much to learn, and it's just a, it's a great opportunity. It's so much fun. So come and join in the fun. Come and join in the fun, and I will see you there. It happens, uh, the Sculpt Off itself happens uh, September 28th. And then uh, the rest of the summit starts the 29th and goes through October 1st. October 1st, I think. 30th. Uh, yeah, I think October 1st. Should be cool. Should be a good time. So, yeah, there we go. There's Flapjack. We have... A new food demon. <laughs> I mean, there's some things about it. I mean, maybe the, the noise on the cork could be stronger because it's not showing up at all. Um, so let's let's strengthen that. It's like when, right when you think you're done, you, you find something else that just, you know, just it just reels you back in. Um, yeah, let's come down here. Let's go to surface. Let's hit edit, let's say frame, and then we'll say, we'll do a couple of things here. We'll, we'll bring our color blend up a little bit. You know what, maybe instead of bringing the, co the color blend up, let's say edit, we'll just make the color a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more saturated. Mix basic noise. Just kind of see if we can get something that we like here. 
Let's take our strength up some. You know what? Let's take our strength in the opposite direction. Nah, let's see. Yeah. Maybe a slight bit smaller too. That might be too small. I don't want it. I don't want it to get fussy. There we go. That'll work. Here, let's say copy. Hit OK. Come over here to this other quirk. Edit. Paste. Say OK. Hit Save. Make sure that we're framed in nicely. We got our perspective on, and then we'll, and now we'll finish up. <laughs> Uh, next one for sure. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of an interesting thing. Like the uh, the Zebra Summit. I mean, it hasn't been live in person for such a long time. Um, I mean, you know, like like many things, right? But it's uh, it's so nice to be able to get back and to be in person. Um, That's so much better now. Let's see those quirks when they dial in. Yeah, it's not super evident, but it's yeah, it looks all right. It looks good. We'll keep it. It's just a subtle thing anyway. Um yeah. So it's nice. Uh consider cons consider uh consider Taking place, uh, taking part in the in the zebra sculpt off. It'll be it'll be a blast. It's so much fun, and for me, it's just a blast trying to think of some fun design. Uh, <laughs> hey Ashley, how you doing? This breakfast duck. This is Flapjack. <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's he's a blast. Uh, he was so much fun to kind of think up. He's one of my food demons. Uh, for anybody who's who's not familiar with it and hasn't seen it or didn't wasn't here when I explained it earlier uh, these are my food demons uh, or you know some of them anyway I've got several others but is, these are some of the ones that I have more final designs for uh, I've got elote you know uh, he's just kind of funny he's a he's a luchador and <laughs> he's made out of corn and cornbread uh, sweet tooth he's the first food demon uh, if you guys remember from like a couple years back, um, he was just a lot of fun. He's like this melting cupid of chocolate. Um, Flapjack, he was the second one I designed, but you know I'm only just now kind of going through and sculpting him out. Uh, I've also got Sugar, and I've got you know she's in progress, and I've got uh, Pumpkin Spice, and she's been sculpted out. She's fun. In fact, I've got her printed out, and she's really fun. Um, here, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll. Show her to you here. She's got kind of like a little succubus uh, <laughs> sort of flavor to her. Um, uh, 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 okay. I need to go through and print her out biggie sized at some point, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. Why won't it go into her butt? Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, hopefully I don't drop her as I transition over to webcam mode. Okay, can you guys kind of see her? She's kind of, it's this, this camera doesn't do like high definition like the other camera does. And the other cameras just had issues on top of issues on top of issues. There we go. That's a little bit better. So yeah, that's uh, that's pumpkin spice. <laughs> She's fun. I really enjoyed this one. Um, and she sits on my desk nicely too. Um, I've got mystery meat, uh, <laughs> sushiyama. This is Beefcake, but I have a, a new design for him. He's a little bit less uh, nondescript now. 
Oh shoot, I'm not even like showing the screen now. I gotta like actually show the screen in order for this to count for anything. Uh, mystery meat, and he's he's been sculpted. Uh, I just need to go through and kind of pose him and make him do some cool things. Um, I've got Sushiyama. I've got Beefcake, and he's you know like I said he's he's kind of nondescript. I have a new design of him that's a little bit more uh, like a jock, you know, like a Beefcake. <laughs> I've got Salt and Pepper. They've been sculpted out. I just need to get some cool poses going for them. And then I've got um, Cream Puff. <laughs> and then Muffin Top. Um, and then this guy in the back is Spaghettron. Uh, he's very rough, but he's supposed to be like a boss, like a like a some, someone to face off against. Um yeah, it's it's all about fun. It's just a, a fun series of designs, and you know now we've got one more to be able to add to the <laughs> to be able to add to the stuff. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. You guys have weddings planned at the same time. That's that's too bad. <laughs> Almost finished the cake topper, painting it now, post it later. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Have to go to work. Uh but you helped me out with a character project a while back on Discord. Really uh, helped with my confidence. Very much appreciate it. Dude, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm glad that was helpful. <laughs> it's always nice to feel helpful. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. This is this has been a treat. I'm super excited about how this is going along, and I can't wait to really get this to <laughs> to finish up. It's been a it's been a fun project. Oof, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to get this to to wrap up. All right, I will see you guys next time I see you. Next week I will not be streaming. Um, I'll be with family next week. Um, and then let me see, what is the, let me see, it's the 16th, 23rd. So the next, the next time I stream will be the 23rd. <laughs> it's the end. Yeah. Yeah. You caught the end. Yeah, that's, that's more than I catch at your streams. I need to start tuning into your streams again, Ashley. I'm, I'm a bad friend. <laughs> Uh, you'll forgive me someday, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you next time I see. Yeah. The uh this the zebra summit will be coming up the end of the month, so I will see you guys then. If you're there in person, I will be demoing uh some you know, some period of time during the summit, and that should be a good time. I look forward to seeing you guys there and seeing you guys next time I see you. So, smartest out.